I'm Dennis Kameri. And welcome to my co-commentator and Richmond goal-kicking legend, Matthew Richardson. All right, Dan, really looking forward to the start of this one. The power set to take on the Lions in this exhibition match today. Umpire tosses the coin. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. And the first term is underway. If you fail to prepare, you're prepared to fail. The bounce. Guided down nicely by Ryder. What controls it? Cutler on the ball at the moment. Quick hands find the running player. Rockliffe watching with anticipation. Gardner claims the ball. Jams it on the boot. A great effort. A lovely drop punt. Great grab. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines this shot up. Wingard will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle which could prove challenging. Motlock claims it. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Motlock gets the ball rolling with the first goal of the game. Motlock. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Rydek directs it down. He's got the footy in his hands. He runs for home. Wines steers the ball towards goal. Wines scoring from a long gone. The power have scored the last two goals. The Lions will have to start putting in some effort if they want a chance in this game. Rydek taps it. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. He gets his hands on the footy, puts the head down as he runs in. That ball's travelling, and the mark will be paid. Dixon lines it up. 15 metres out. Going for goal number one. Football is not and never has claimed to be a fair game. The power with a handy break, leading the Lions 13 to nothing. Andrews is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. Westhoff marks the ball. He steadies now in front of goal. Westhoff goes for goal. Westhoff gets the goal. Brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punched by Ryder. Takes control of the bouncing ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Marked by Ebert. Kicks it. Martin wins the marking contest. Kicks. Wines gets the upper hand. Wines needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Pal Pepper gives the ball to the running man. Gray slams the ball to his boot. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Mick Stay with an easy mark. Puts boot to ball. Beams got under it. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Sends it on its way. Good mark by Martin. Trims the grass with that one. Hodge takes it well. Hastily kicked. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Walker taking aim. A monster kick will be required from here. The Lions trailing by 19 at the break. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. That was a high-scoring quarter. Let's have a look at the stats. 
Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Lions are slightly ahead with four to two. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 11 and nine. Thank you very much, Richo. Let's go back to the action. If you can believe it, the mind can achieve it. Punched by Martin. Walker bumped off the ball. The loose ball scooped up. He handballs it. I haven't seen him for a while, Richo. Yeah, he's had a really indifferent game out there. He has the ball. Dishes it off by hand. Cameron going for number one. Goes wide for a behind. This game almost out of reach for the Lions. The power just seemed to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. Homsch takes the mark uncontested. He slams that on the boot. Hipwood lining up with the goals. Hipwood shoots for goal. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. Yeah, he's having a quiet match, Dennis. Good idea. Looking to make them pay for that turnover. He's got the footy in his hands. Nice mark under pressure. Wines with a gigantic kick. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Jams it on the boot. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 40 minutes from home. Pal Pepper pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The power increasing the lead to four goals. All is in readiness. And there's the bounce. Rydek with the tap is in his possession. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. With the ball now, Wines with another possession. Wines with a daisy cutter. What with the mark? He steadies now in front of goal. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 45 metres out. Powell Pepper. Got a 45 degree angle. It's just a question of accuracy. Powell Pepper just makes the goal line. The power by five goals. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Claimed by Martin. Jonas is able to grab it on the half volley. Hodge intercepts it, goes short with a hand pass. Unfortunately placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Rockcliffe feeds it wide, takes that one strongly. Goes for distance, drops the ball. Rydek looking like a Manchester United player, jams it on the boot now. Hodge free kick. Hodge keeps that one low, almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark, minus the peg. Hands like dinner plates. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Strong mark. He's a long kick. The Lions trailing by 30. They have a lot to think about after the first half. A good first half from DePower. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Plenty of positives for the coaching staff at the half. We'll have a look at the stats. The Power is playing a great game in both stats and on the scoreboard. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richard. It's half time and we'll be back soon for the second half. Finally, the third term begins. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Martin decisively. He gets his hands on the footy. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. He gains possession. Picked up by Robinson. Goes short for the hand pass. A big kick by Liebert. He wins the contest. Booted by Wines. Wins the hardball. Nice torpedo next day. A good mark under the circumstances. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Even though the Lions were behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest, and so they should be. Westhoff puts his boot on it. Watts with the mark, lining it up with the goal now. 65 metres out. Going for goal number one. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Sends it on its way. Cutler, Marks, gets good to high. 
dropped by Zorka. Gets the ball free. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. I don't think his performance is going to go down too well in the coaching box, Dennis. Gains possession. Sends the Sharon on its way. Marked by Beans. Jams it on the boot now. Buick takes the mark. Well, the quality of disposal has been pretty soft out there, and that's enabled the Lions to rack up the marks. The Lions need to cut out these junk possessions and become more attacking. They really need a goal on the board now. The Lions get a goal. The Lions trail by 24. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Tapped like Martin. Jonas picks up the bouncing ball. He picked it up off the ground. Hand pass by Westhoff. Kicks. Couldn't complete the mark. Partlet handball short. The bouncing ball is controlled. Squeezes out a handball. He gains possession. Kicked at goal by Carl Pepper. Rich takes it well. Even though the Lions could behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest, and so they should be. Hartlett with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. Gray takes the mark. Kicks it across the ground. A great effort. Routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. A good term with the power 31 to the Lions 7. Well, a win is in sight for the power, but you can only become a winner if you're willing to walk over the edge. So they will have to ensure they remain committed in the last quarter. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Lions are slightly ahead with 13 to 10. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, or a day, or a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If you quit, however, it will last forever. Cutler slams it on the boot. He grabs it on the run. Low spearing kick taken by Ryder. He handballs it. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Soccer kick. Lucky bounce collected. He's racking up possessions. He gets his hands on the footy. What under the ball? Rich bumps. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Marks. Gets boot to leather. Marks. No questioning whether the Lions can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Lions need to start kicking more direct for goal. Watts lays it off to the man on the run. Robertson with the kick. Beams takes the mark. Nice drop punt. Hartlett with the mark. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Bieber. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Wines handball short. Jams it on the boot now. Nice mark there. Ebert, he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. That's a mark. Robinson with the mark. Sending it on its way. Marked by Watts. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Gets boot to high. Great mark. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. 40 metres out. Gets boot to high. Powell Pepper. Looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Going for goal number three. Powell Pepper. Goes goalward. It's true. Three of the best he's putting on a clinic. They're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Powell Pepper's pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. Intercept by Robinson. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Good tap from Westhoff. He gains possession. Need says, no, I'm over here. Zorko slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Brooke the Lions haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick your winning total that way. 
sending it on its way. Walker takes a contested mark. 45 metres out. Not the most exciting match, no real competition between the teams. Disappointing. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Power and the Lions? The difference between a successful team and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, often a lack of will. Final scores are 37 to 7. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend.